two million years ago, survival of the first tribe, prehistoric struggles and the clever hunt. brink of survival, a small band of our human ancestors walks across an arid plain, the very dust of the earth turning against them. Their leader, a homo habilis, scans the horizon. In her eyes, the weight of a dying tribe. An elder homo habilis leans heavily on a staff, his strength fading with the sun. A young Homo habilis coughs weakly, a stark sign of the hunger that grips them all. Another hunter, a Homo habilis, points from a rock, a silhouette of desperation against a relentless sun. Through the heat haze, a distant valley, a mystery, or their last hope. The hunters move as one, low in the tall grass, shadows stalking their salvation. Every step is a risk on this dry, unforgiving earth. Their faces are masks of concentration, hiding a deep, gnawing fear. Below them, the herd grazes, a powerful, unaware force of nature. A nervous glance is exchanged. They know the stakes of this hunt. Their tools are simple, fragile, a stark contrast to the beasts they hunt. The leader's eyes calculate the distance, the wind, every variable. A shift in the air, the bison sense something, a collective tension rises. He giant beasts stir, their hooves kicking up the dust of their domain. The hunters press forward, closing the gap, their hearts pounding. From above, the herd's restlessness is clear. A storm is about to break. A world of grass, fear and focused intent. Sweat drips, a testament to the tension and the scorching sun. The fatal moment approaches. A foot presses down on a dry twig. The sound is like thunder in the silence. The hunt is over before it began. In an instant, calm erupts into a chaotic, thundering stampede. The world becomes a blur of dust, panic and deafening sound. From the ground, the hooves are like falling rocks, shaking the earth. The hunters scatter, their plan utterly undone by raw power. In the chaos, one hunter trips, his fate sealed in a moment. He falls, the ground rising to meet him, pain searing through his leg. His hand clutches the wound, a desperate attempt to stem the flow of life. His vision blurs, the world a vibrating nightmare of pain and noise. The herd thunders past, an unstoppable river of muscle and fee. The leader watches in horror, a silent scream of frustration and despair. As quickly as it came, the stampede is gone, leaving only emptiness. The wounded hunter lies still, his heavy breaths the only sound. The wound is already caked with the dry red dust of the plain. 
An elder drags his fallen comrade, a act of loyalty and defeat. In her eyes, the grim truth, they have failed and winter is coming. The night is cold, filled with the silence of empty stomachs and despair. The elders' fingers trace the story of their failure in the dust. And in those simple lines, a spark of insight ignites into a brilliant fire. At first light, they move with a new purpose, a new intelligence. The leader points not at the beast, but at its story left in the mud. A single hair on a thorn confirms the path. They are learning to read the world. From above, their movement is deliberate, a silent strategy unfolding. The elder communicates not with sounds, but with silent, understood gestures. A tool is prepared. This time, it is part of a plan, not just a weapon. They are no longer just hunters. They are architects of a trap. They shape the landscape itself, guiding fate with stone and wit. The strength of the trap lies in the perfection of a simple knot. Every fiber holds the potential for success or for catastrophic failure. Concealed, they become part of the forest, their patience a new weapon. A single steady hand signal commands the fate of the hunt. The prey enters the stage, unaware it is walking into a calculated design. The boar senses danger, but the danger is the environment itself. Each step brings it closer to the point of no return. The hunters are statues, their very breath held in anticipation. The trap is sprung. The animal is exactly where they planned. In a moment of slow chaos, the world shifts in their favor. The trap works. The beast is thrown into confusion and panic. The wounded hunter charges redeemed by this new chance. The spear flies true, a symbol of their reclaimed prowess. The strike is precise, effective. The clever plan finds its mark. As the boar reels, the team moves in as one, coordinated and fierce. This is the final, frantic rush to secure their survival. A young hunter witnesses the power of a plan well executed. The leader stands tall, her wisdom validated by the success. was one of unity, strategy, and triumph. The fallen hunter pants not just in exhaustion, but in profound relief. And in her eyes, a new fire burns, the fire of knowledge. The clever have prevailed. A new dawn for humanity has begun. They return not as failures, but as providers united by their success. The dust of their past struggles settles behind them. Each step is heavy with their prize, a rhythmic march of triumph. In the distance, their tribe waits, 
the hope now answered by this site. The work begins, a communal effort to prepare the life-giving meat. This simple act, skewering meat, is a revolution in how they will live. The fire transforms the meat, it sent a promise of nourishment and unity. The whole tribe shares in the feast, their community strengthened and secure. A gesture of respect, the hunter honors the wisdom that saved them all. The true victory is not in the meal, but in the knowledge passed to the next generation. And as the sun rises, it illuminates a species forever changed by the power of a clever mind.